welcome back to my vlog channel. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also click that notification button because I'll let you know when my videos are on. But today's video has been highly anticipated because I was planning to vlog about this for quite some time. But a YouTuber that I'm friends with had asked if I was going to feature some of this in my actual vlog. So today's vlog is going to be all about consignment sales, where to get the best prices for the best deals on great bargains. So if you're the kind of person who loves to shop at thrift shops, consignment shops, or maybe wholesale jewelry and stuff, this video then is for you. Us ladies love, we love handbags, makeup, purses, beauty products jewelry, which this is a bag that I got some great swag today at a jewelry show. So in LA, every year, well actually it depends on the location, because when I first went to it, there was one in Santa Monica Convention Center. This is maybe when I was like elementary, middle school. My mom would get access to go to these jewelry shows, and you buy stuff at wholesale. Then, I think they got a little bit bigger or less, just depending on the year and they move them around. So this year they were in the LA Convention Center and the only way in is to actually know somebody. So a friend of mine uh, gets access to her family's business. Family owns a business, they are signed up to go to these showcasings and they sell stuff. Now, a trick to kind of give you guys a hint, if you're one of these people who are registered, you're seeing you have a friend or a family, anybody you're with, when you go there, you have to say cash and carry because some items you have to order in bulk. Some of them you have to order and they ship it to your house or to whatever. And the nice thing about cash and carry is you pay, you carry, and you walk out with it. So this is what I did. The other thing you have to be careful with, and this I will say for any type of shopping, whether you go to a thrift store like Goodwill or... Um, Salvation Army, just to name a few. If you go to consignment, say like Hawaii Second Look in Santa Monica, there's Love Culture, there is Crossroads, Buffalo Exchange, there are vintage shops in LA, Melrose Place, LA has them, a few places in the Valley have them. So one thing to keep in mind is ask if they authenticate any item. And the reason being is because oftentimes when they work with an authenticator, and or they'll ask the person who's selling the item to them to get it authenticated. It's because they don't want to sell something that's fake. By the way, there are laws and rules, and let me tell you, it is illegal and fake, or I should say it's illegal and counterfeit and fake, to sell anything that's counterfeit or fake or any good. It's one thing to make a high-end leather bag that's similar to a style. So for example, there are a lot of bags that are made similar to Hermes, but they are not copies of Hermes. They're just leather bags that have a similar design, but they don't feature anything that's on the Hermes bag. Or say you like a Hobo leather bag, right? Like this Marc Jacobs bag, for example. I scored it 30 bucks at a consignment store. This one was bought at Crossroads Trading Company. And amazing. It is real. It is legit. Because I saw the same bag in a different color at the actual Nostrum Rack for a higher price. So this is what I call a great bargain for a lovely leather Mark J. Scribble Mark Jacobs bag. I found this at a consignment store. Now I don't want to show all the items on here obviously on my vlog. That is because some of my items are expensive and I'm vlogging from home so I just prefer that, you know, some things are just, you know, kept, but I'll show you guys, well, so, and this is just my thing. Now, I'm not going to get into how to authenticate a bag. That is something there are authenticators out there that can authenticate any of your jewelry or items. But I usually do this on the inside of them, only revealing on my blog, so be careful how you do this. So this is what I do. You go to the store and you let them know that this was a gift. I like to have it washed or fix something. Now, a lot of times I end up having to do that because I bought uh, Tiffany's earrings that were legit at a consignment event that was held at a uh, shop that does a lot of selling donated stuff. 
but they host designer events twice a year. So a lot of things are already authenticated by the client, or they'll say as is, or it'll say like, this is a not, you know, like, it's not real, it's a knockoff, there's a way that they write on it, so things like that. But the stuff is donated, people sell it, and so I ended up buying these hard little, like, um, Tiffany's earrings. They were a great price. I got them for a great bargain, like, woody bucks. Brought them into Tiffany's because they had to be cleaned. Let them know it was a gift, and, you know, you don't tell somebody where you got it. And uh, then they cleaned it for me, no problem, because I've already bought stuff with them. Make sure you've already had at least one or two items bought with them, and that is in the cap. I did that the same with the Louis Vuitton bag. I bought a, the work assignment, a Neverfall. I'll, um, so Neverfalls, I'll link these bags like this, with a handle and stuff like this. So I've actually um, bought that one. And I bought it for a good price, about 500 I think it was. I got a great price. And I got, no, 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 that wasn't it. That was my, um, sorry, that was my, well, that was a good price anyways, but I did my speed bag. I did that and I had to have some hardware fixed. So I brought it into the actual, like, um, Tiffany store. Not Tiffany, sorry. Why did I say Tiffany? My mind is just, you know, like crazy, right? My mind's like, oh my god, I brought it to the no, 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 no. So I actually brought it all the way to Louis Vuitton. They were able to change the hardware, got a really good price. So the whole deal with the bag, it's, you know, which is awesome. So these are some things you guys have to be careful. So I'm going to tell you some things to be careful about when shopping for all this. And the reason why I'm going to mention all this is because the jewelry show that I went to today and the stuff I'm going to show you, I'm also going to talk about all that kind of stuff and how you should, you know, navigate it. So my, this is my biggest thing. Um, I love anything real. So, silver-wise, I love Italian silver, I love U.S. silver, um, there are silver that's made in, like, Russia, uh, which is really, really, you know, good and amazing, but Mexican silver, you have to be really careful. Some is real and some is fake, and there are ways to know. If it starts to get green and tarnish, you have to be really, really careful. I love Italian, uh, sterling silver, that's what I usually get for my necklaces, um, I oftentimes will make jewelry at home. So I make a pendant or a buy pendant and I want to put it on a necklace, which I'll show you guys um, in here with a pendant that I got. Sorry, I moved a little like um, book and I guess it made my camera work. So sorry about that. So, um, sorry about that. Anyways, I know I keep fixing my body. It's like, okay. I got an itch here, itch there, you know what happened. Anyways, so I'll show you guys the stuff in the bag. But, um, and that's something that I look for. And you want to make sure it's a legit, uh, somebody that, who does wholesaling or you partner with them. Thankfully, my parents know a lot about jewelry, because my mom grew up buying from wholesalers. Um, her dad and her mom and dad grew up in Russia doing the same thing. They would go to these special places and they deal with stuff. My actual, um, engagement band that I'm wearing, it's from a wholesaler. My actual wedding band is from a uh, Russian like jeweler that gave a really, really good deal for us because I've been doing work with them on jewelry and stuff for many, many, many years. If you guys want to go there and you need stuff, it's called, I believe, Victoria's Jewelry. They are on Santa Monica Boulevard and Fairfax Boulevard. There's like a Whole Foods there, so they're right in the shopping center. I'm not going to link that because there's no really website, but if you guys want to check them out, watch this vlog and you guys can go there. Stuff like that. <coughs> Pardon me, my cough is getting better, but it's a little bit there, but anyways. So this is just my spiel and stuff. I don't ever buy anything from thrift shops because you know they don't authenticate, you don't know what kind of deals or anything you're going to get. Sometimes on jewelry I look out because I see like .925 or I'll say Italian. 0.925. By the way, silver weight is 0.925. Some of them might have different weight standards depending on where and which country you're buying this from. I remember buying my brother a chain for Hanukkah that he wanted because the friends were all, you know, like, this is the thing he wear, it's so popular. Buy everywhere when every shopping at a downtown wholesale, jewelry places, or you're going to a consignment store. Someone maybe is having like a estate sale or yard sale or garage sale, whatever. 
or you go to like thrift shops or anywhere that you're buying any kind of jewelry goods or anything. Be aware and do your own detective and spy with your own eyes to see if they're real, that they're not fake, that they're legit. Now, I usually have a good eye and a really good skill because I grew up with name brands and you know, all about jewelry and handbags and spotting and not spotting fakes. But there are items such as like Chanel, Prada, and Hermes that I usually will not touch because I'm not familiar with the brands. I mean, I know what they are, I know what they look like, they're real stuff, but it's hard to tell what, you know, like, I've seen them at like these consignment stores and I'll be like, are they real? I'm not talking about consignment stores, but they are authentic and stuff. I'm talking about like little thrift shops that like people donate all these fake stuff, like they donate bags and they say, oh, as it is, there's a marking where they sell it. Sorry about that, my voice a little going down. But yeah, like I'll go to the last, so is this real? And they're like, I don't know. And then you're in trouble because you want a bag that's, you know, raised or anything like that. I had an experience where I went to a consignment store. Uh, I think it was, not Crossroads, another vintage shop. And I asked them, so is this a real LV bag? They're like, yeah, we got an authentic And I told her and I pointed out it was not real. Oh, she's like, well, I'm going to sell it. So this other lady came in really dumb. Bought the idea that it was fake. I mean, that it was real, sorry. And paid $200 for it. I'm glad I caught them. So you cannot sell, by the way, anything that's not real, legit, or anything like that. It's one thing to own a shop where you, people want to get rid of their stuff. Like, say, they have an LV bag. They don't want to own anymore. They want to get rid of it. So they sell it to places like this, you get it authenticated, or they have tags with it, and they sell it. This is great. So, just something to be aware. Now, if you're a seller, be aware as well when you're selling items, because you don't want to get something that's not real. So on both ends, just get it evaluated, get it authenticated. It's simple as that. You know, for anything you sell, scarves, clothes, bags, jewelry, hair products, um, you name it, shoes, you know, things like that. I'm going to show you guys what I got today at the jewelry show. So the way it works is you have to be a guest to get invited. At, or you're someone who owns a business and you register your company and you want to go there. Things like this. So I had a pendant, which is this one. But I had it on another necklace with another pendant. And I wanted a, another like box chain sterling silver, so I scattered around. This one is made in Italy. It's Italian. I don't know if you can see it. 0.295 Italy. It is 20 inches, which is what I wanted a little bit bigger. And I absolutely love this piece. Look at this. It is so beautiful. I like it because I love to layer jewelry. But sometimes things overlap. My friend has this problem. She'll wear jewelry that overlap and they get tangled. And I'm like, uh-uh. So this is why I always try to like make some match pieces that go together. And just have one of them be a bigger length of the other one. This was originally like 20 to 30 bucks. Bought it for 8 bucks. Perfect. I was like, that's a score and a bargain. Then we got some little shashkas. This is, I don't know how you pronounce it, Kinkakuji Japan. It's one of their famous little statuettes. 30 bucks. And then with it, I got a beautiful Asian style fan. So you can just go like this whenever it's hot. You know when you want a bottle, they have like a fan on it. It just like stops working or you run out of the water. Just pull this out and like this. Two bucks. It's a beautiful flowery, kind of like um, the flower season blossom, cherry blossoms, and the sakuru. Perfect. Then I got their hair clips. I got them in twos because if one breaks, you have another one. So this one is their little butterfly. Two bucks. Originally 14 bucks. This one was originally 10. Two bucks. Got two of these, they're like, like a little dog. Woof, woof, woof. They're just in your head. I'm actually wearing one in my head. 
If you're a dog lover and you have a dog, like I'm a dog lover and my family has a dog, I totally needed one. These are cute. I love hair accessories. And I bought a fox fur tie design headband. I work with kids and you need your hair pulled back. These are perfect. Look at that. I absolutely love it. Now, they do have a lot of expensive jewelry there. I wasn't after all that high-end, like, fine, like, diamonds and gold jewelry just because I already own enough pieces. But I wanted something that was very artsy, creative, and kind of cute. So I bought sterling silver handmade earrings, and these are made by these wonderful ladies from stemandgems.com. They have a website, I think. Um, they are contemporary American artists um, at the Smithsonian, Washington, D.C., which is awesome. Look at that. They're sterling silver. Now, before we get into the price. So, they have a little, like, design like this. Perfect. And they have a little, like, gold-plated, gold, a little dot. Um, I'm not going to put on what you wear like this. And it is so cute. Maybe I'll just put it on. Maybe you can just, uh, so you guys can see. I can get it on. Yay. Now, you will have to buy the little, like, plasticky things that go behind. But this is so cute. Look at that. I absolutely love it. It dangles. It's beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna... Original price was 58 Bought it for their wholesale price for about 25 with tax and everything. Perfect score. Now, I usually try not to buy a whole lot, but since these were very original, they were cute, very different, I could wear these to work with kids. They're not gonna bother me. Or I'm out every day and I don't need to wear something, you know, expensive. These are a perfect value. This is all the stuff that I actually got today at the jewelry show. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. See you guys real soon. I want to leave you guys a positive note. Just remember, no matter what you buy, wherever you're at, use your own eyes, your own mind, and your heart. And follow you guys. If something's telling you that this is not real or legit, walk away. There's no harm, no nothing. You don't have to buy it. So I hope next time you have a great day and finding a great bargain at a great price. See you guys soon. Bye.